Hey all you Ranger fans, this is Buck5090 coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the Mighty Morphin Metallic Pink Ranger by Hasbro. This is the Lightning Collection. As you can tell here, this is actually from Season 3, Episode 29 through 31. Master Vial and the Metallic Armor. I have the Steelbook right here of Power Rangers, in case you guys wanted to check that out. But yeah, we're looking at Catherine in her Metallic armor here pink ranger very nice you can see here the side profile it's got some glittery images here on the packaging as well over here in the back you got the rendering of the figure itself with some metallic on there you got some metallic up here in the tops the rest of this continues as you can see here mighty morphin power rangers it is ages four and up so i am eligible to open up this figure so yeah Let's pop it up and see how cool she really is. All right, so here we have Catherine, AKA the Pink Ranger from season three from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, opened up and out of the packaging. She comes with a couple of accessories here. We have a pearlized version of her bow right here. So you can see the details there. It's a little translucent and very nice and pearlized. I will be comparing this to the original Kimberly Pink Ranger. We got her arrow here, very nice. We have this version of the arrow which she fires, and you can see it's also nice and translucent, very cool. It's got some shininess to it as well, a little bit of glitter. So that's cool. She comes with her blaster in gun mode, which is very nice. I wish we would've gotten it in, you know, holster mode, but oh well. She does come with a Zeo crystal. Hers is the oval shaped uh, when she becomes the Pink Ranger and Power Ranger Zeo, so you can see that oval shape right here for the Zeo crystal. Very nice, very translucent. I believe it does glow in the dark. If I put it up against the light, it should get some color. You can kind of see it there a little bit, not so much. She does come with her alternate pearlized metallic armor head here, looking very nice. You can see the details on the helmet. Came out very good on this figure, whoops. And then of course she comes with two extra pairs of hands. She has her fisted hands for the left hand and she has a karate chopping hand for the right hand. And both are done in a very nice translucent and pearlized styled paint coat. So yeah, let's take a look at the figure. We got a very nice head, sco head sculpt here of Catherine from season three of Power Rangers. And you can see all throughout the figure how Nice and pearlized, the figure looks. It's got some glitter on there. Very cool, we got the butterfly joints. The head sculpt is really nice. And this is the first Catherine head sculpt that we get from the Lightning Collection. We will be getting another Catherine head sculpt when we get the Cat 2-pack, which is essentially her again in the pink uniform, pink ranger uniform, and in her Zeo pink ranger uniform. So very exciting for that. I think the belt here, you can barely make it, but it's supposed to be a pterodactyl. But yeah, you can barely see it. It's still translucent all throughout the legs as well. Nice and glittery material over here. The boots, also nice and pearlized. Very nice, she's got peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Very cool, very nice figure. Now as for the articulation, she is pretty much the same articulation as the other Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. The arms can go in and out, forward and back. You can kind of see the, you know, the actual articulation since it's translucent. Uh, you can see through the plastic, the articulation that goes through into the figures. Right here, she's got a nice little ab crunch. So it's very nice. She also has another abdomen joint right here on the side. So that's pretty neat. She has rotation here at the upper torso. The head can look down about this much and can look up about this much. It gets hindered a little bit because of the hair. But overall, that's a really nice, I can't get over that, that face sculpt. That looks really nice, just like the actress that played Catherine in the show. Very cool. Only one joint in the elbows, which sucks because female figures should be getting double jointed elbows. I don't know why they only get one joint. Um, no rotation in the biceps, unfortunately. Also, the males get that. Rotation here around the hands, which is pretty nice, I guess. You can 
go forward and back. The gloves are also in a nice little pearlized white. So that's very cool. Over here for the legs, you have it on a T-joint, so she can kick all the way forward. Not so much back. Um, she can do the splits, which is very nice. Upper thigh cut right here. You have double jointed knees, which is very nice. So she can actually, eh, she can only kick about this much. She has rotation here at the boots, which is cool. And you have ankle articulation as always, as well as ankle rockers. So that's very nice for these figures. Let's swap out the head though and put on the other head sculpt. But before we swap out the helmeted heads, I wanted to do a comparison between the Kimberly action figure and the Catherine action figure. So you can see here, this is definitely a shinier, glittery version of this armor from the original Pink Ranger. And of course the head sculpt could have used some work, but this was the best that we had. And is it just me or does she look, or is she a little bit taller head sculpt wise? I think it's because they added more neck to the figures now. We'll see that when we compare it with the helmeted version. All right, and here we have the figures side by side with the helmeted versions of each other. And I see they made a slight upgrade maybe on the helmet. I'm not so sure, but it looks a little bit thinner here on this one and on this one. And of course the paint on the eyes of the pterodactyl here were a little bit, you know, messed up because they're not aligned perfectly. And this one, they did it really nicely. But overall, this is what that looks like with both of the figures, helmeted versions and non helmeted um, both metallic and non-metallic. And I actually have here the Legacy Collection Pink Ranger, which was that version of their metallic armor, uh, Pink Ranger, which is only translucent in like the middle torso area and some of the arms, but not so much else was translucent. So I don't know how that counted as the metallic version of the Pink Ranger, but I definitely do like the new Lightning Collections because they're more, you know, screen accurate and obviously this uh, too much bust <laughs> going on there. And as tall as I did like the Legacy figures to be, these are way better because they come with the civilian head sculpts and they come with so much more accessories and, you know, of course the extra head sculpts like I already mentioned. So yeah, now let's take a look at the other so yeah, I am glad that we finally get all five Power Rangers in its metallic glittery form from the metallic armor episode. These are definitely more screen accurate to the Legacy Collection ones that were kind of metallic, kind of more translucent. These are more glittery and show accurate. And the heads just sit way, way better on the necks than the uh, original ones used to. But yeah. That's it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos coming soon. If you're watching this after the holidays, happy holidays to everybody. And of course, make sure you, you know, these are Hasbro, I think, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So if you do want to get your hands on these metallic Power Ranger figures, definitely go to Hasbro Pulse. Order from there. They might still have a few in stock. If you're watching this after the Christmas break, then check anyway because these are definitely a great addition to any power ranger fans collection so yeah thanks for much watching next night until next time